boss less special It ain't no game, but they say I'm welcome to the second level These guys are doing over here. How long do you think it takes? I can't read that. It says caution. Oh. <laughs> Marshall. That's in <A>. English. <laughs> yeah. How long do you think it takes for them to like to render it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's gotta be. I insane. mean, this game's been in the works for like something ridiculous amount of years. Um, I've always wondered, like, when to do this games because the PS4 came out what last year, right? It's a year old. A year before, I think. A year before, two years ago. Like if. A developer's making a game and a new system comes out. How do they make the adjustment? Some of them the have one? that equipment early, or some of them will be able to sort of switch halfway. So they'll be like working on something, um, so get, like, you know, for the current story. console. And then once they realize there's another console, they'll get the kit. They'll see if they can adjust it. It's a lot easier to port when you're already halfway through. Uh, um, I just don't understand the yeah, whole. Yeah, it's like, a long process, but you know, and like I said, this game's been in development for years. Like the single-digit Final Fantasies always are. The one before this was Final Fantasy XIV, which was an online only. Uh, when did that come out? Check those out. Whoa! Yeah, that's the size of the uh, Dead Eye. Final Fantasy XIV was a year or so ago. It was an online only game. I've not actually played it. We uh, one of our coworkers uh, always recommends it to me. Says it's really good. I'm. I, Problem is, it's like twelve ninety nine a month to play it. Yeah, uh, I'm not I, a fan of subscription based games. Yeah, you know, I, was I mean, you really do get what you pay for in yeah. terms of like they're they're decent. Oh, it's a map. Yeah, <laughs> that's, but, that's uh, useful. That's pretty useful. <laughs> All right, stalking. Well, I've never been a fan of like um, uh, like MMOs mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Like, get out of my way. Not, <laughs> we still have collision issues. Yeah, uh, never got into those. Like World of Warcraft, Ooh. I just don't understand it. Like, I, I understand it, but I like for me, it doesn't seem like it'd be fun based on what Read it is. Read that for me. Magitech troops? Soulless Imperial Cannon fodder programmed to rip out their own exploding hearts. <laughs> That's a little extensive, don't you think? They're programmed to rip out their own exploding hearts. And look I at, the, look at that wind. Yeah. Whew. It's, a, it's a little detail thing that you're like, oh, oh yeah. I get you. I mean... And again, this is just hey, a demo. Hey, what do you think of the hair effects? I love the hair <laughs> Love it. Look at this hair bouncing around. Okay. Running running joke, Tom. Tom had a... had a Talked about Laura Croft's hair. And then... Uh, Max? That was her name, right? Max from, Caulfield. From uh, Life is Strange's hair, so... Oh, Jesus. They're a lot tougher like than knights. I was expecting. Yeah. Oh, they're not knights. They have green faces. They're like weird alien things. So is this... Get on my face! Again, I know absolutely nothing. I'm going to keep asking you just probably really newish no, I new love it. questions. No, I love it. Love it. Uh... Are they based in the same world every time? Like, is it the same nope. general world? Is it every just time it's different. Every based... time it's a different world, different characters. It's now, if they enjoy... How do, how do they continue the series, then, if it's Well, because different... it's always a similar story. Like, it's always kind of like, you know, you're the underdog, you have to save the day, the characters are kind of, you know, familiar. There is some things that show up in multiple... Uh, things like one of the one of the series favorites is an animal called a chocobo or a chocobo, which is like a, a basically big bird. It's like an emu, <laughs> um, and chocobos are in every Final Fantasy pretty much. Um, so they have like common running themes, but they just they're all different stories. Because uh, I feel like they'd be saying like Donkey Kong Country and Mario are the same because they're platformers. No, That's it's what it feels it, like. you know they have a, a, enough in common. That you understand that yeah. it's a Final Fantasy game, but it's like a, just a different story every time. Ah. So let's go there to the kill site, the behemoth kill Be site. Behemoth. 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 Uh, over there. So, yeah. So I mean, Final Fantasy is just kind of renowned for being one of the greatest games of all time, and this is really coming, you know, to fruition. You can actually see the work that's going into this. Apparently, this demo as well is kind of. Uh, like sparse as well like there's nowhere near the amount the full amount of enemies that are in the actual game. final game uh, uh has there been a final fantasy flop i would say some of the side ones have been flops i don't really think there's been a main entry that's been a flop there's been definitely some better received than others mm -hmm. um, which is always how it's going to be yeah. there's not one that actually just kind of like did the no the i don't think there was 1966 type thing where no, it's like, no i wouldn't say so not unless there was like because they like Japan loves this shit. So, yeah. like, there's been, like, crazy, is that, like... Is that why they look like K-pop guys? Yeah. <laughs> there's, like, Chocobo <laughs> dance games that come out and, like, the weirdest little side games. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, it's gonna get you. Yeah, settle down, it's buddy. It's gonna get you. 
Uh, It'd be really cool if you kill those for, like, meat. You probably... Well, I don't know if you can get meat off them, but... Oh, God, I attacked one. Oh, uh, you made a mistake. regret that, aren't I? This guy looks like he's gonna kick my ass. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now there's, like, seven of them. Yep. And... Boom! <laughs> Love that move. You know the best part of it? You don't get hurt while you're in the air. Yeah. <laughs> uh, need to do another one of those. Here we go. Ooh. So, is there any Smash. sort of, like... I don't want to say, like, power-ups, but is there a limit to how many, how much you can do each move? Uh, right now, what's happening, you can see uh, the, bottom the, the bottom left. I saw the bottom left. Yeah, just didn't know. so that's reliant on my MP, which is, like, uh, it's, I think it's, like, Magicka points or something like that. Kind of like mana. Yeah, yeah mana, mana, mana. Yeah, mana something points. like that, whatever. MP is, is like, magic, and uh, that's basically... Does you're kind of you're kind of uh so now you couldn't do it because you're pool to get yeah exactly but it goes up c pretty yes. consistently so i just have to kind of stay out of trouble for a minute and then it goes back up is there an does it stop at 100 do you know um i think it, can, it will get higher as you level up yeah. so right now like 56 is my max uh -huh. but uh once i level up some more then it'll, it'll go higher, higher. exactly because you're gonna probably be fighting harder enemies yeah, and, exactly. more stuff. and you'll want to be able to do that stuff yes. more frequently yes i understand that part of the game Right. Yeah. <laughs> You're already halfway there. Woo! So, so, yeah. But this one's, you know, it's interesting. It's a little different to some of the other ones. Look, look at his run. The, guy in the, the blonde, you know, the, the blonde hair. Kind of doing a hop. <laughs> the, actually, you know, saying that, the only one I can think that kind of was close to a flop was um, the Final Fantasy thirteen. So, for the original Final Fantasy series had turn-based turn combat, so you would, like wait for your turn to do mm -hmm. something and then the enemy would do their Kinda thing. Kind of like South Park Stick of Truth. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. pretty much the only one I've played. Yeah, that's that. where they got it from is yeah. Final Fantasy. That's what I was and, um, and then they changed it up a little bit in some of the later ones where you had this kind of dynamic action where you can sort of queue up moves but you're still, you know, doing everything dynamically. Mm -hmm. um, but 13, the problem is that 13 was really linear. Like, they just decided for whatever God knows what reason that it would be better to um, take, like, give you, like, a single path to follow throughout the entire thing. And then it didn't really open up until, like, the 12th level. Then you were suddenly, like, in a world like this where it was, like, all open. So you could it went go or World Order 1866 for... Yeah, levels. but it was, like, it was just, you know, for Final Fantasy fans that are so used to being able to go anywhere they mm -hmm. want to, it was just kind of this massive shock. Smack, smack in the face. Yeah, exactly. They just felt like, why is it so linear? Like, why can't I go everywhere? Like, Final Fantasy was the first game to really um, put in the idea of going to an entire world very easily with the, the blimp. Like, the earlier games had a blimp. And once you got that blimp, you could fly anywhere. You could go to any part of the world. Any island you could see, you could go on. You could walk around. And, um, you know, it was kind of like they just said, okay, let's do Zelda, but let's do it in the world instead of this little Hyrule Kingdom mm -hmm. area, uh, which is why it was so well received. But then they took that away in 13, and it just was not well received. It was like, where's our. Yeah, and now <laughs> they brought it back. So everyone's kind of super stoked mostly for that. By the way, oh. if you don't know what I'm doing right now, I'm I'm just kind of looking around for the trail of the behemoth. Um, oh, looks like I might have found him, but uh, I'm just kind of looking for clues right now. Destination's so updated. There. Um, in the interest of time, I'm not going to try and reach every one of those clues that I could. I'm just going to actually try and get to the behemoth. So, onwards and upwards. Yeah. Yeah. All right, no entry. Uh, why not? I don't see why you can't go through there. I'm going. Yeah, I was gonna say. Screw him. <laughs> oh. You're the cat. Yeah. 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 Dead Ice Den is fraught with danger. Now will be a good time to make camp and prepare. You make a camp. So they're gonna make me make a camp now. I'm already there almost. All right. I, they're probably not wrong, actually. I, <laughs> I will get my ass handed to me if I don't, so maybe I should do that. And maybe that would be an opportune time to uh, pause the episode. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just. I was literally was trying to. I was reading the map. He's enamored what with what's yeah, going was, on right now. I I don't play these games very often, so this is a whole new world to me. Yeah, I'm it's excited to, to teach you things. I can't sing. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I will pick this up next time. We appreciate it. Welcome to the second level. Bye bye. Can, for something, can we pretend that this is what happened after John Lennon was shot? Oh my god! And that he came back to life, and this is like this. I would prefer this. Just,